This is a bivalve shell from a freshwater environment. When I opened this shell, to my surprise, I discovered something unusual inside. What is this? I have a wonderful friend who occasionally surprises me with unique gifts. He has brought me wasps nests and insects before, but today he surprised me with a freshwater bivalve. Ta-da! I thanked my friend and immediately took it to the lab. I placed it in water to check if any were alive, but sadly most of them were dead, likely due to being frozen in the cold. This shell belongs to a freshwater mussel known as the Chinese pond mussel, a large species that can grow over 20 centimeters or about 8 inches in length. Many people think that bivalves only live in the sea, but many species thrive in freshwater as well. Bivalves are joined together by one or two adductor muscles. You can easily open them by cutting these two muscles with a spoon. Inside the shell, the mantle, which secretes the shell, covers the body. And beneath the mantle are the large gills. In a previous video, I showed you purple butter clams. These marine bivalves take in seawater through their incurrent and excurrent siphons, using their wide gills to filter out plankton and organic material, which they then eat. Similarly, freshwater mussels also use siphons to feed filtering food through their gills as they bury themselves in sand or mud. The foot, which looks like a tongue, helps the mussel dig into the riverbed. The gonads are located inside the upper part of this foot. When you remove all the flesh from the shell, you can see the inside of the shell is very shiny unlike the exterior. The shiny inner surface is called the nacreous layer. Unlike the outer layer of the shell, which protects against various external threats, the inner layer is composed of dense calcium carbonate, making it smooth and shiny. Most shelled mollusks can produce pearls, and the more beautiful the nacreous layer, the more stunning the pearls. Therefore, the Chinese pond mussel may also produce beautiful freshwater pearls. I opened other shells, hoping to find pearls. I found no pearls. Instead, there was a strangely shaped nacreous layer. It appeared pieced together and raised. This occurs through the same process that forms pearls. Pearls form when a parasite or foreign object enters a mussel, prompting it to cover the intruder with the same material as its shell for protection. If the foreign object is completely covered, a round pearl forms. However, if it attaches to the inner shell wall, the nacre layers over and forms a hemispherical shape or accumulates thickly and broadly, as in this shell. In essence, this is a trace of the muscle's attempt to encase something that entered the shell. I broke the shell open, hoping to see what was inside, but surprisingly, it was empty, nothing was found. The formation we observed is thought to be caused by gas produced by the encapsulation process, causing expansion. Fascinating, isn't it? If you're interested in a more detailed biological explanation of how shells form pearls and about pearl cultivation, please check out the pearl oyster dissection video I posted previously. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, unraveling the mysteries of science.